it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to week three of four for the month of July's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from a real bowling alley this time. We have finally left COVID lanes, and we're at Lita Lanes. Nashua, New Hampshire, as Massachusetts decided, we don't care, we're not going to open your bowling alleys. If they did, we would have done it in Massachusetts. But, you know what? Gotta give, gotta give... Charlie Baker credit well the cases are ever so slightly going up the recovery rate is far surpassing it so it's dropping very quick in spite of all these insanely increases that all these other states are getting lane 33 TV lane used to be this 33 and 34 used to be part of uh, a TV show called Candlepin Stars and Strikes on Channel 50, Derry, New Hampshire. Mike Morin, still part of the Candlepin scene, was one of the announcers. And we're sullying the reputation of one of their lanes. So that makes it New Palace number one, Woburn Bolodrome number two, and this place number three in terms of bowling on actual TV lanes that we're sullying the reputation of by bowling on them. And speaking of TV shows and candlepin bowling, as we tilt the camera, there we go. Speaking of, Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit candlepin TV show, King of the Palace, where you can see people much better than this. Type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch your heart's content. If you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash newpalacelanes. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can see new videos as they come along. And now, well, as of this recording and probably release, the only Candlepin show that is actually on and still making new episodes. Aren't you lucky? Game three, frame one, ball one. Ball two. Ball three, too full on that head pin. Way too far to the right, and we start with a seven. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the bowl more in action. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Welcome to Mason's. Six. No, five. Well, here's a bad start. We were expecting that to happen in game one. Seven and one. Five and two. Lovely 12. So I guess this game's junk. But it's also a... Frame three, ball one. Ball two, welcome to COVID lanes where something like that would have happened. Skill shot, little off, but it still worked. Pretty much where I wanted to go, spare. 
Frame four, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Not a good one so far. Finally, halfway decent bonus, six. Looks like this one's turning around. Ball two, audience. Well, a game that was total crap is starting to turn into something good. Spare. All right, that was quite the opposite of one and two. A pair of spares. So far, we are at a 38 with an El Stinko, the bonus ball to come. And in candle pin bowling, and it's been verified by other houses, any three marks in a row is a turkey because the game is that much harder. Frame five, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will it be this time? Can we get a second ball that's pretty good? El Stinko lives up to its name yet again with a three. Ball two, head pin on the right side. Or the left. We got ourselves a turkey. Frame six, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball again. In spite of it going not exactly where it aimed, it wasn't that far off, so I consider that not a dumb luck move. What will this one be? Another lousy fill by El Stinko, a week four. Ball two. Ball three. Four in a row. Uh -uh. Is this the crash and burn? Let's find out. Crash and burn. Six. There. We got a spare and five. And craptacular six and six. Four of those in ball one making the fill. Okay, 61. Frame seven and ball one. And if you're wondering, in candle pin, I, in a casual sense, I usually can hold my own. The other two I definitely suck at. interesting. Ball two. Ball three. Well, there you go. Part time, I still suck. Niner. Frame eight, ball one. Ball two. Ball three, you saw that. I got robbed. Ten. All right, those two frames were not too bad. 
Nine and seven, 10 and eight. Two frames to go and we already hit the low end of average skill for the casual bowler, 80. Frame nine, ball one, we need a mark to, dare we say, I might have cursed it by saying that. How many numbers in the score? Find out. Ball two. Not a leave I wanted to see, but that piece of wood, if I can hit that head pin. Ball three, that's a first. I knocked a pin into the other lane. Ten. Last frame, ball one. If I want that many numbers in my score, that whole plate has to go bye-bye. Ball two, welcome to COVID lanes. The crash and burn ball, but the score's decent. An eight. We'll take it. Yeah, that, I'm trying to find, that's a first. I've never knocked a pin into another lane. Anyway, kind of saved it at the end. No three digits, but nothing to sneeze at after coming back from so long ago. 98. What could have been if it weren't for that? So, yeah, 98. So far, every game's gone up, but we know how that works here at Lita Lanes. Last game is usually the one where we sink. <sighs> hey. So that is week three of four for the month of July 2020's edition of Watch We Suck at Bowling from Lita Lanes, Nashville, New Hampshire. This is George F551, so I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.